so hey guys in this video we'll be solving one problem based on second order system okay transfer function based on that problems will be solving so everything will be covering in this particular question so let us try to understand the problem first so second order system has unity feedback and open loop transfer function so that function i'll write it over here which is given by g of s is equal to 500 divided by s into s plus 15 this is the uh, open loop transfer function they have given okay unity feedback i hope you understood unity feedback which is one okay so draw the first part of the question here it is to draw the block diagram for closed loop system second part will be the what is the characteristic equation third question what is the damping ratio damping ratio and natural frequency value damping ratio zeta you have to find and natural frequency is nothing but omega n then fourth part we have done this already that we have to find peak overshoot peak time settling time when the when exacted by what unit step input okay so let us try to understand we'll start with the first part the first question what we are trying to say draw the block diagram for closed loop system so how to draw that the first thing r of us the reference input will be coming and one summing point for why we are putting summing point because we are having here one feedback closed loop system means what we will be having feedback now what kind of feedback they have given they have given unity feedback okay so let us uh, draw that thing so here one gain block g of s will come which is 500 by s into s plus 15 which is sitting over here so this is one block okay so now it is going towards what uh, the output side output is nothing but c of s and from the output i'll take one feedback what kind of feedback uh, it is having the unity feedback that means gain will be one if you want you can put it as one otherwise you leave it okay otherwise you leave it anyways uh, the if i leave it as it is it means that it is unity feedback that's it now here i'll put what a minus sign here i'll put what plus sign okay fine i hope you understood what i am trying to do so the thing is that why i am putting here minus sign because uh, the open loop transfer function g of s into h of s they should have given but the h of s is nothing but unity feedback now this unity feedback will be having negative but uh, negative in the diagram because uh, here they have given positive thing everything is positive over here right this is the open loop transfer function so open loop transfer function they have given everything positive that means h of s should uh, in the diagram should be negative so that i can take the opposite sign of that right that's why it is a negative okay fine so this is having the feedback uh so this is the first diagram now we'll go for the second part of the question so first diagram is first question diagram okay second part of the question they are asking what is the characteristic equation see always remember how to find characteristic equation which is nothing but one plus g of s is g of s into h of s again why i'm taking plus because here minus is sitting that's why plus okay now transfer function all characteristic equation always remember equation means equal to should be there so equal to zero you have to put so you'll be getting a basic thing is that you know the formula for closed loop transfer function g of s by one plus or minus g of s into h of s so this down part is nothing but what equated to zero denominator if you equate it to zero that will give you characteristic equation that's it okay okay here we are getting one plus or uh, one plus g of s into h of s so one plus what is g of s here g of s is nothing but 500 divided by s into s plus 15 which is equal to what zero now if i expand this thing what will happen if i take lcm what will happen see try to understand here i'll take lcm so what will happen here one is there s into s plus 5 15 plus 500 equal to zero divided by s into s plus 15 okay so that will be equal to s square plus 15 s plus 500 and this when it will be multiplied it will be equal to zero itself zero into anything is zero itself so this will be the uh, characteristic equation for this particular question so let us go for the third part in third part what we need to find we need to find the damping ratio right the damping ratio and the natural frequency so zeta and omega n we have to find so we have to compare this standard equation or the characteristic equation with the standard form of what the second order system which is nothing but s square plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n square which is equal to 0. So when you compare this and this what you'll be understanding that omega n square is nothing but equal to 500 from which omega n value will be equal to square root of 500. So uh, this 
which will be equal to around 22.36068 radian per second so this will be omega n okay so omega n is done now we have to find the zeta value also now the thing is that here if you compare this 2 zeta omega n s with 15 s you will be getting zeta so how to get zeta just comparison so 2 zeta omega n s compare it with 15 s ss cancel omega n value i know so zeta will be equal to 15 by 2 omega n so 15 by omega n value as you know it is nothing but this value substitute 22.36068 if you substitute and find out the answer it will be 0 0.3354 so this will be your zeta value which is the damping ratio which has no units okay okay next so third part also done now we have to find what we have to find the peak time rise time sorry peak time peak overshoot settling time three concepts we have to deal so first thing we'll start with the fourth part we are having which will be finding out peak time now what is peak time formula peak time is nothing but a tp it is equal to pi by omega d now here we have to find omega d what is omega d omega n into square root of 1 minus omega square sorry zeta square which is equal to what is omega n value which is 22.36068 into 1 minus zeta square zeta value we know that is 0 0.3354 oh, square so when you substitute these values in the calculator you will be getting it as 21.0648 radian per second radian per second okay now next tp also done now we'll find out peak overshoot which is nothing but percentage mp so peak overshoot which is nothing but percentage mp which is given by e power e power minus pi zeta divided by square root of 1 minus zeta square into 100 okay so that will be equal to e power minus pi into zeta value substitute which is nothing but 22.36 a whole thing you substitute okay divided by divided by square root of 1 minus zeta square zeta value is 0 0.3354 the whole square you do that means square you do into 100 if you do you'll be getting it getting the value as 32.677 percentage okay so the third one we have to find the settling time which is the final thing we have to find so settling time is equal to represent it as ts is equal to 4 by zeta omega n now 4 by what is zeta value which is 0 0.3354 into what is omega n 22.36 this entire thing you substitute you'll be getting it as 0 0.5333 seconds Okay, so all the values we got i hope you understood the problem so we had to find all the concepts you have to understand so just comparison okay catalysis equation if we compare with the standard form we'll be understanding that thing this is actually this is actually this came from see we have the comparison omega n square by s square plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n square now this part is nothing but the denominator denominator of this is nothing but this denominator this is nothing but the characteristic equation we are comparing with the denominator of the standard form of second order system okay so i hope you understood the problem